Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Adda. So, uh, I am covering the microservice crash course and uh, in this video I am going to cover the API gateway implementation, how we can uh, create an API gateway and how we can call other services through the API gateway. So that I am going to cover today. So let's get started. So come to the IntelliJ. You might be aware that we have developed this services. Okay, in a real video, we have registered these services to the Eureka server as well. So everything is working fine. Coming to the Eureka server, let me show you that all the services are up now. Okay so you can see here now let me create the uh, api gateway service so let me go to the intellij let me go to the file let me go to new project and there here i am going to create a api gateway api get gateway service gateway service okay so let me uh, go next and then uh for API gateway service, we need to include couple of dependencies. So let me include the gateway Spring Cloud Routing dependency. And uh, uh, if you want to register this service to the Eureka, then you need to use the Eureka discovery client. So I'm using this much of a starter dependency. Let me open this in the new tab. If you need other dependency, we can uh, include later on. So it will take few seconds to configure this project. Once it is configured, what we can do, uh, we can start doing our uh, development. So this API gateway is more of the configuration, uh, not much of the development is required for the API gateway implementation. So it is not opening in the Maven uh, project format. So let me close and reopen it. So come to the file, open and open this. Open in a new tab. So it will load uh, here. Uh, it will prompt us uh, to load this project in a Maven. Okay, so let me load it. Okay, so you can see this is loaded into the Maven format. Now coming to the uh, API gateway service, we don't have much of the implementation here. We need to do some uh, configuration. So let me go to the main. Uh, let me go to the resource and let me create a application.yml file and uh, there i will do this configuration so let me create this application dot yml file okay let me add this okay now coming to the configuration i already have this configuration handy for you so let me copy this and uh, similarly you can copy it from the git and you can use it or if you want to uh, create yourself you can create it uh, you can pause this video and then you can create okay so let me go here to the application.yml file you can see uh, this configuration is to name this service okay and these are the spring cloud gateway route configuration so here uh, this is how we need to configure the services so in the api gateway uh, let's say i have three services a student service library service and the book service so for a student service, this is the name that I put for the student service. So coming to the student service, let me show you. So you can see here in the application properties file, I name this application as a student application. The same name you need to uh, provide there into the API gateway as a IDE. So let me paste it. And for the URI also, you need to provide this. After LB, you need to provide this ID. For the predicate, what you need to do, uh, you need to provide the path of your uh, controller so you can see that in the controller of the student uh, we started this mapping as a student so come to the student service app come to the controller so you can see at the beginning of this class we mapped it like a student so that is why uh, we are uh, mapping it like uh, a student into the uh, configuration of our api gateway so at, in the path we need to provide the uh, controller REST API mapping or the upper mapping that you are going to create and after that we need to put this two star so that whatever thing is coming after this it will route those requests to the student service so this is for that only and let's edit this for the library service so let me go to the library service and then copy from there 
what is the naming I have did to the library service so this is library service come to the API gateway and uh, let me change the ID to the library service and here also after LB library service and the path for this is library so whatever request coming to the library so it will route to the library service okay similarly for the book service let me go to the book service let me show you the path or so or the controller API for the library it is library okay so that is what I put there into the API gateway as a path so it is there now coming to the book service let me copy the name of the book service okay so the name of the book service is book service and now come here to the API gateway and then provide the name of this so after LB also and here it is book in the small so let me show you for the book also let me go to the controller and uh, you can see the API is uh, request mapping is book at the class level so whatever request coming with the path as book and after that whatever you can provide it will route it here so this is how we can call the other services through the API gateway this configuration we need to do this API gateway uh, is up on the port number 9094 and coming to the Eureka instance host we have configured it to register itself to the localhost Eureka so we included the in the pom.xml you, you might be seen that we included the Eureka client and uh, uh, this dependency management is already there what we include for the other services and you can see coming to the properties you can see that cloud version is also there so we need not to include anything if the API gateway is working fine uh, this is a starter dependency is working fine then we are good so coming to the oh yeah so we are good with the configuration now let me try to run this application and show you how it is behaving so let me go to the Java application and let me run this so if it is up successfully on 9094 then through this application what I will do I will try to uh, maybe, uh, some services and then I will show you how it is behaving how it is working so you can see this application is up on port number 9094 okay so let me go to the and so what I'm going to tell you that through this uh, API gateway I'm going to call the let's say I'm going to call this uh, come to the postman let's say I'm going to call this URL through the API gateway so API gateway is uh, like I'm going to hit the student one and uh, student one will uh, hit the library and library will internally hit the book so what through the API gateway we are calling the student and uh, the student get mapping is calling the library get mapping and library get mapping calling the book get mapping so let's see how it is working so API gateway is up on 9094 and uh, for API gateway yeah this is after that uh, like uh, API gateway is up on 9094 after that if you want to call the student APIs then you need to provide this student this is what we configure there into the path uh, when we are implementing the API gateway so come here come to the application YML you can see here in the path uh, uh, we have provided for the student it is a student which is the upper level uh, mapping of the student controller class so coming to the postman uh, let me try to hit this API and let's see how the request is coming so you can see that we are getting the result successfully that means uh, the API, with the help of API gateway we are able to find this you can copy the whole thing and you can come here to the browser and uh, in the browser also you can come and then try to hit this so let me hit it so you can see it is coming here that means we are able to call uh, the student service through the API gateway similarly if you want to call the uh, other services you can try it out okay and now coming to the Eureka server uh, let me show you that uh, uh, here you can see that uh, API gateway is not registered but we included the uh, Eureka client discovery uh, so it should be included here so let me refresh it so you can see that API gateway is also registered to the Eureka so every services are working and up and they are registered to the Eureka okay and uh, and we are able to call the 
other services through the API gateway. So this is the whole agenda of this course. If you like this course, please watch all those videos in this series and please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such spring development and uh, more such, let's say, other development I will also bring on this channel. So if you want, uh, if you are new to this channel, please try to go to my channel and please try to support me. Okay. And please subscribe the channel. Thanks for your support and keep learning.